I wanted a different time. Videoed, sir. Video. Video. I mean, YouTube me. YouTube me, huh? Cool. Okay. Find the brachial radialis. We're going to go from lateral to medial. This muscle right here that comes across superficial and ducks deep. Pronator teres. And it does just what the name says. It's pronate. So I'm going to do this. And now I can dribble like a pro. Huh? And the day of the test, if they ask you the action, or ask the muscle, do it. Pronator teres. Now let's take the brachial radialis off and look at the pronator. See it coming across right here? Okay, I'm going to put the brachial radialis back on. Here it is here. Don't be surprised if they do this and tag it right there. Don't be surprised. Don't freak out if this is sitting next to, to it on the table. Put it back on. Just follow it. Cool. Okay, now we're going to go across in the same level, the superficial layer. This muscle right here, we know it's flexor. It's going to go to the wrist, carpi, and it's on the thumb side, radialis. Next muscle is palmaris longus, right here. Now look where it goes, it goes right into the palm. Look where the tendons are. Digit one, two, three. So the next one is palmaris longus. And the last one in the superficial level is the flexor carpi ulnaris. Now, think about this a minute. When we put our hands out like this, our thumb is lateral, so the radius is lateral. Our little finger is in the medial, get the right fingers in <laughs> And that means the ulna is on that side. So you have flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, and what's in the middle? The one that goes to your palm, palmaris longus. Same layer. Cool. Now, let's take off the first layer. This muscle right here, which you can see here, or let's put it back on, this muscle you can see in between the tendons is the digit there is the Flexor digitorum superficialis. Wow. Super <laughs> now, the flexor digitorum superficialis. And I know some of you are going to say, cool, I'll just memorize it. A couple of you are going to go home and say, that's whack. And why is it whack? Oh, it's whack because it's misleading. It's trickeration because it says it's superficial. And it's not. But here's why it's called that. If we go deep to it, this muscle is the profundus. This is the flexor digitorum profundus, which is not on your list. So you've got a really third layer muscle, but this one is superficial to that one. And that's where the name comes from. So, again, let's put this back together, maybe. There we go. Okay, so this muscle here, same muscle here, second layer muscle, the only second layer muscle you have to know, and that is flexor digitorum superficialis. Second layer, write that down, second layer muscle. Now, let's find the supernator. Here's the pronator. Right here, here's the supernator. And the supernator is deep to the brachial radialis. And it runs underneath the pronator, the teres. And what's that going to do? I'm dribbling my basketball. I turn over like this. I've had a great career. I'm going to walk off carrying a, a can of soup. <laughs> like that. 
That has to be a six million dollar can of soap. There we go. What can I say? Pronator Terry's Supernator. Cool. All right. Now we're going to do the very same thing for the extensors. I'm going to go back to anatomical position. The extensors are on the posterior side. So what am I going to do? Turn the arm over. Now, when I turn the arm over, I'm gonna, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the brachial radialis. Why is this one so easy to find? It starts in the arm. Then I want to find the extensor carpi radialis longus. It is the muscle on the posterior side adjacent to the brachial radialis. Here it is right here. It is number 20. Runs right along here. Look where it's running. Posterior side, that's why it's an extensor. It runs to the wrist, that's why it's called carpi. Radialis, it's on the thumb side, and it's long. Next muscle, look how small that is, right there. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have anything on my fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting video or audio of this stuff? Nice. <laughs> Very nice. I was just joking. I cleaned them this morning. <laughs> but I write with those pens, so it could happen, you know? Okay. I'm hiding the one that's dirty. <laughs> okay. I asked you to see how small it was. This is extensor carpi radialis brevis. What does brevis mean? Brief, small. Cool? So longest brevis. Then, the next muscle, superficial layer, is the extensor digitorum. Now look, the way you know this one is this, guys. Look down here. Look at the tendons. They go to the digits. Huh? So, a minute and a half at a station is a long time. It may not seem like a long time to you guys. Take your time. Flip it over. Breathe. Start going over. If you, if what I do is, here's my landmark. One, two, three. Third muscle. You know, from lateral to medial. Then I look at the tendons. Look where the tendons are going. Posterior side extensor. Digitorum. And then lastly, just for completeness, this muscle right here. This one right here. And what's that called? Extensor carpi ulnaris. Hey, imagine that. It's right over the ulna. Now, one that's not on your list, it's one of my faves. See this little guy right here? Mm -hmm. That little guy right in between. That's the extensor digiti minimi. It's not on our list, though. Okay, what a great name. Extensor digiti minimi. Yeah, goes to your pinky. Yeah, what a great name. So let's do them again. My favorite, brachial radialis. It's my landmark. I'm on the posterior side. This muscle, extensor, carpi, Radialis longus. Look how long it is. And see how it almost starts in the arm rather right than the forearm. Extensor carpi radialis or brevis. Extensor carpi radialis brevis. It's tiny. Extensor digitorum. Look at the look at the tendons. This is where it's easier on a cadaver. Because if you're taking a lab test on a cadaver and let's just say you can't touch it, what do you do? Just pull on the tendon. You pull on the muscle. Watch what happens. Then we have extensor carpi ulnaris. All the same way. Okay. Now, let's go back to the arm. If you look at the at the upper appendage in, in the brachial area. Biceps brachii, and if you're not sure, if you're not sure, 
Look right here. The palate has two heads, hence the name biceps. Oh. It's on the anterior surface. Go to the lateral surface. In between the biceps and the triceps, what do you have? Brachialis. And this one's nice because where does it run? It's totally within the brachial area. Now I'm on the posterior side. This is the tricep brachii. Now the triceps, you got to pretty much memorize it's on the posterior side because on our models, we only can see two heads. We see this head and this head. And actually this head divides and again. And therefore there are three heads to it. And that's why it's called the tricep. But we'd have to pop up this muscle and can't do it. Cool. And that is the upper appendage. Questions? I think we need some. Uh, is this on record?